So we click on this banner key and put in a default username and password, which are initial. And the password in it, I N I T, all lowercase. And log in. And on the initial settings, we're going to scroll across to one that says network. Network is anything going in and out of the controller. What we're going to come to now is one that says external input settings. Now, on the basis that you have your nine wire adapter connecting to the back of this unit, and we have it wired onto your contactor, for example, say for a fire alarm situation, we can now use that external relay to switch all the air conditioning off if there was a fire situation. But the default setting is set to not in use. So although you put the relay in place, it won't do anything yet. If we click on it once, that now becomes an emergency stop. In that situation, when you make the contact, all the air conditioning will switch off. When the contact's opened again, you will be able to switch the air conditioning back on. It will not come back on automatically. We click on that again. It now becomes an on-off. So when you make the contact, it switches all the air conditioning on. When you open the contact, it switches all the air conditioning off. There's another option on here, which is for a pulse signal. But in the UK, we don't use pulse signal. When you're happy with whichever selection you've gone with, save the settings, and that will update. And come out of and back onto the monitoring side of things. You notice here that it will take a while as it goes through the settings and puts these new changes in place. Again, depending on the size of the system as to how long this will take. When the system reboots, it will go back around collecting data about the indoor units because you've made quite a large fundamental change to how the system works.